Shark Encounters How to Avoid an Attack While Swimming or Surfing Picture this. You're floating in the ocean, waves gently rocking beneath you. The sun is shining, the water is calm, and then something brushes against your leg. Your heart stops. You look down, and for a second you think, was that a shark? Sounds terrifying, right? But here's the truth. Shark attacks are incredibly rare. Still, they do happen. And when they do, they make headlines around the world. So today, let's dive deep into the world of sharks. What makes them tick, why they sometimes bite humans, and most importantly, how you can avoid an attack while swimming or surfing. Stick. Around because what you'll learn today could save your life, or at least give you peace of mind next time you hit the beach. And hey, if you love learning about wildlife and survival tips, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments if you've ever had a close call in the ocean. Part one, the truth about shark attacks. First things first, let's clear up a huge myth. Sharks are not out to get you. They're not swimming around, hunting for humans. In fact, you're more likely to be struck by lightning, crushed by a vending, machine, or injured by your own bathroom than attacked by a shark. Each year, there are around 70 to 80 unprovoked shark attacks worldwide. Out of those, maybe five to 10 are fatal. And guess what? Humans kill over 100 million sharks every year. So who's really the predator here? But still, even if the odds are low, being aware and prepared can make all the difference. Part two, why sharks bite? So why do sharks attack humans at all? Turns out most bites are a case of mistaken identity. From below, a surfer paddling on a board can look like a seal, a favorite meal for many sharks like the great white. In other cases, sharks might just be curious. They use their mouths to investigate, kind of like how dogs sniff things. Unfortunately, a test bite from a shark can still do serious damage. Sometimes people swim into areas where sharks are feeding, mating, or feeling threatened. That's when accidents happen. Part three, where and when shark attacks happen. Now let's talk locations. The top countries for shark bites are the United States, especially Florida, California, and Hawaii, Australia, and South Africa. Most bites occur close to shore, in water less than six feet deep. That's right, you don't have to be deep in the ocean to be at risk. Shark attacks tend to happen during early mornings and late afternoons, warmer months, and in areas with lots of baitfish or seabirds diving. If you see fish jumping out of the water, that's not a great time to go swimming. Part four, 10 smart ways to avoid a shark attack. Here's the part you came for. Let's talk prevention, how to avoid a shark encounter altogether. Don't swim alone. Sharks are less likely to approach a group. Stick with a buddy, especially in open water. Avoid swimming at dawn or dusk. Sharks are more active and harder. To see during low light, stay out of the water if bleeding. Sharks have an amazing sense of smell. They can detect blood from hundreds of meters away. Don't wear shiny jewelry. It looks like fish scales and can attract unwanted attention. Avoid excess splashing. Erratic movement mimics injured prey. Stay calm and controlled in the water. Don't swim near fishing boats or areas with bait. Where there's bait, there are sharks. It's that simple. Pay attention to local warnings. 
If there are shark sighting signs or lifeguards give warnings, take them seriously. Don't pee in the water. This might sound weird, but like blood, urine can attract sharks too. Two, avoid bright colored swimsuits. Some experts say sharks are attracted to high contrast colors like yellow or white. Go for darker tones. And know the local wildlife. Different places have different shark species. Research before you swim. Which of these tips surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. Part five, what to do if you see a shark. Okay, let's say you're out there and you see one. Don't panic. Sudden movements will only attract attention. Instead, stay calm and keep your eyes on the shark. They prefer sneaking up from behind. Facing them reduces their advantage. Slowly move toward the shore or a boat, but do it without splashing. Defend yourself only if needed. If a shark attacks, go for the eyes, nose, or gills. These are the most sensitive areas. Fun fact, punching a shark in the nose can work, but it's better to push rather than strike, and only as a last resort. Part six, sharks we should know. Here are a few common sharks swimmers and surfers might encounter. Great white shark, found in cool coastal waters, powerful but not common. Tiger shark, curious, aggressive, and found in tropical waters. Bull shark can live in both salt and fresh water, even rivers. Black tip reef shark, often seen by snorkelers, usually shy. Hammerhead shark, unique shape, but usually not dangerous unless provoked. Knowing which species live in your area can help you prepare better. Final thoughts. Sharks are not monsters. They're ancient, powerful, and often misunderstood. They've been around for over 400 million years, way before dinosaurs, and they play a huge role in keeping our oceans healthy. Yes, it's important to respect them and be cautious, but fear, that usually comes from not knowing the facts. So next time you head to the beach, remember, knowledge is your best defense. If this video helped you feel a little more confident about swimming in the ocean, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more animal wisdom just like this. And here's a question for you. Would you ever go diving with sharks? Or does the idea totally freak you out? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and respect the deep blue.